Jesus said, if you live right and live by his word, is Numbers chapter 15 in God's word? Bring it out! No, that's another book. Oh, look at that. He, you, you heard what he said? He said, that's another book they added in there. You know why I said that? You know why I said that? You know why I said that? Now, that's a, now Numbers 15 is another book they added in there. Why you say that? That's a stupid question. Okay, so, but Elder, Elder, come here, man. You know I love you, Elder. It don't matter how old or young you are. Okay, so Elder, wait, hold on. If you say you follow the book of Numbers, where your fringes? See, stubbornness can happen in any age. So, so what were you saying, Elder? That's a beautiful sister right there. Clap it up for that sister while she did. All oh, praises, mama. Go ahead. Uh-huh. Okay. About five years after I started ministry, nothing I did, but I was sitting on the seat, and sitting on the street, and he was going to be saying, you are that preacher. Oh, yeah. when you say preacher, I, I do I had me in that somewhere. How do you lead them to God? Yeah. Elder, how would you lead me to God, Elder? How would I lead you to God? Yeah. Number one, I'm going to tell you. Yes, sir. Which, because you say, oh, actually, you say, you know, I say, do you believe in God? No. No. What can happen to you if you die? No. Some of them, they live on the head and that's it. Okay. When you tell them about that condition. Okay. And give them the word. You all give them the word. You're doing everything right. Uh, but prayer changes. Okay. They don't then go to the best. And thus he said, You are not preaching. And I knew I was preaching. I look around. He said, Yeah, you. He said, I Give me a zeal, but not according to knowledge. I said, I told okay. my wife, I was coming from the race well, right before Sunday. Mm -hmm. And you were on that bus talking about you going to hell with all this stuff. Sin. And he said, I told her I wasn't going to race right there, but he said from that, he said he's been sick years. I have been back to race right. I just told him what just said to the Lord. Mm -hmm. And pray. I don't not pray for him specifically, but I pray. Elder, I think I believe elder. I'm gonna say this because I, I respect you as an elder in a community. How old are you? 81. You're 81, so I won't disrespect you because you're 81. You're you're my grandfather's age. But I have to be completely honest with you, Elder. I think you have a will and a heart to want to serve God, but it's not according to knowledge. This is why. Hold on, Elder. Let me show you. This is the book of Romans, chapter 10, verse 3. For they, being ignorant of God's righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness. So no pun intended, but it says they've been ignorant of God's righteousness. If I was to ask you, Elder, respectfully, what is God's righteousness according to the Bible? Repent. Repent from what? From sin. What is sin? Anything that is not according to God's word is sin. Okay, so let me ask you a question. Is it, in God's word it says we should wear fringes on our clothing? It says you should. It should be should. Okay. So now if you don't wear fringes on your clothing, is that breaking the commandment of God? No. Are you sure? It's going against his word, you're not breaking the commandment. Go to go to go to number fifteen. You sure? You sure the commandment didn't say that? Well, that's why I said. But that's why I said you have a will. Or you have a, a zeal of God, but not a commandment. Let me read that. For Wait, read that for him before we hold on. I'm gonna show him. This is a perfect example. Read. This is a book of Romans, chapter ten, verse two. For I bear them record that they have a zeal of God, but not according to knowledge. See, you have a. Zeal. You in this instance, you right now, the Israelites, the Israelites, it, which you are Israelites. But, but listen to what I'm saying, Elder. I got you. I hear you. I just want you to hear what I'm saying. You have a zeal of God, but not according to knowledge, because you didn't even know that wearing fringes was a commandment of God. And I'm gonna show you. Read the book of Numbers, 15 to verse 38. This is the Torah. The book of Numbers. The, the Torah consists of what? You know, the law, right? Numbers is a book of the law, read, which is a commandment. Read. Speak unto the children of Israel and bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments. It says, speak to the children of Israel and bid them that they make them fringes of the border of their garment. Read. Come. Throughout their generations, 
and that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. And that they put upon the fringe the borders a ribbon of blue. Elder, that's a commandment in the book of Numbers. Where's your fringes? That's, that's, that's the order. It's going to be after. That's what he just said, right? Speak unto the children of Israel so, so, so. and bid them. Bid, bid means tell, tell them tell. what to do, what they need to do. So he's telling you. So look, so, so if we serve God, Elder, hold on. If we serve God, I don't care. If I read it in the Bible, he tell me to do it, I don't have a problem with doing it. Just like my brother didn't have a problem with taking off his necklace and throwing it away. So if, look, if we love God, he said, bid them, tell them to make them fringes, read, in the borders of their garments. Can you do that, Elder? I can do that if that's what we got. See what's in there? I don't have it. We can get you some. Yeah. But you can say Everybody have a, everybody have a he just said it. In that case, then the whole church is different. That's the point. Look, Elder, Elder, he said, bid them that you make them wear it throughout their generations, Elder. You know what a generation is, right? Generation is a continual line of your family and your seed line. Right, so God did tell the Israelites, the children of Israel, which who you are, that you were supposed to wear fringes on your garment throughout your generations, meaning forever. Keep reading, huh? Keep reading. Let's keep reading. Verse 29, verse 39. And it shall be unto you, and it shall be unto you. Do you, do you accept the book of Numbers? Okay, cool. So that means you gotta accept this, right? And it shall be unto you for a fringe that you may look upon it. Is this in the Bible? Yes, right. And remember all the commandments of the Lord. And do it. And that ye seek not after your own heart and your own eyes after which you used to go a horn. Sometimes God wants us to do things just to be obedient. That's your bus? That's your bus? Yeah. But you're ministering to us right now, right? I know you said you minister on the bus, but you're ministering right now. No, you're not accepting numbers. No, so, so, so should you wear fringes? Okay, let's be fair to each other. I'm gonna be fair to the elder. If you can show me that in the Bible, that this is not. If you can show me that that the children of Israel, the people that was the target audience that he's talking to, don't have to wear fringes, can you show me that? I know. You can't show me that. But I can show you a Bible verse that tells you you have to wear it. Yes. So now, that means we got a problem. We in a conundrum. Yeah. Uh -huh. Speaking in tongues is not all oh, but ba -ba 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 -ba. That's not elder. Listen, speaking in tongues, let, let's, let's get tongues real quick. Elder? Yeah. Issues. No, it's not about issues. Issues are the Bible. Exactly. So my issue that I'm bringing to you is that we're not serving God correctly. Why did Jesus wear those? Oh, yeah. wait. Hold on. Hold on. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Let's show you where Jesus wore, and then we're gonna speak in tongues. We're gonna we're gonna deal with now, Elder. I'm getting You get the him. Get Matthew. Great question. That's a great question. And then we're going to have to talk about the church. Now, my issue, the elder's correct. He said I'm bringing up issues. I am bringing up issues. Issues with the church that are that they are going against God. So I do have issues with the church. My issues is that this. Let's see if Jesus will come. Matthew 9 and verse 20. And behold, a woman which was diseased with the issue of blood 12 years came behind him and touched the hem of his garment. The hem of his garment? Well, what is what is the hem of his garment? Yes. Okay. That, that's not the whole thing. That's not the hem. Okay, so, so, Elder, you do know the Bible is written in Hebrew and Greek, right? So, when you study the Bible, you got to study the Hebrew and Greek. I don't, I don't know what the Bible but you know, the, But you know the Bible was written in Hebrew and in Greek, right? Yes. Okay, so now we got to get what that word hem, at the definition of that word hem. Let's see what it says. Read. This is the definition of the word him. Read. The blue letter Bible. Strong G2899. Him. A fringe. A what? A fringe. A what? A fringe. Elder. He said a him. Look, listen. Look, Elder, listen to what the Bible said. Read what the word him means. Read. Translated. Him comes from the word G2889. Uh-huh. It's okay, you can even not do that. Just read it. Just read him. Just read it. 
A fringe or tassel. There we go. A fringe, Elder. A fringe. Got you. Thank you, Rob. So now he said the woman grabbed the border of his garment, the hem of his garment. When you look up that word hem, that word hem means fringes. Caspadon. Caspadon? Cosp. So now, the question is, did Jesus wear fringes? Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Oh, okay. So that means if Jesus did it, we really should do it, right? That's right. Uh, so we, can't, we can't do everything that Jesus did. You can't, uh, put, you can't put fringes on your shirt? No, Elder. you can. Yeah, Elder. 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 Jesus walked on the yeah, You know I love you, Elder. Ah, Elder, come here. Come, uh, Elder, oh. no, come here, Elder. Come, come back here. Oh, hold on. Let me get this is my worst scrubs. Elder, you got... Let me get this boy. Be careful now. Come over here. Wait, 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 wait. We got a chair? We ain't got a chair out here. We can't do everything. I'll let him sit down and get this now. Get that chair, man. Can we do the simple stuff first? Hey, Elder. Wait, watch this. I can't walk on water, but you know what I can do? I can sew fringes on my shirt. So you can do that, huh? Yeah, so let's do it. Okay. Well, you know what? That's, that's, that's it. Go ahead. Yeah. At least he admitted he looked over. I'm not going to put links on my shirt to prove that I'm saved. I'm not going to do No, but did God, wait, hold on, hold on. Elder, you said you accept the book of Numbers. Yeah, I accept the In the book, in the, in the, but, but in the book of Numbers. <laughs> None of us told to follow the book from from uh, Genesis and Revelation. Who said that? None of us don't follow, follow every Wait, Elder, Elder. Listen, let's start with what we can follow. Don't run yet. Come here, Elder. Yeah. No. Don't, can we get a chair? Go get a chair for him. Yeah. Nah, nah, we're going to be respectful. We're going to get him a chair. We're going to get him a chair. Elder, we're going to get you a chair because I want you to learn. It don't matter how old you are. You're going to learn. Listen, Elder. The Bible in the book of Numbers said what? The Bible in the book of Numbers said what? We're fringes. Do you accept the book of numbers? Okay. Well, then if it tells you to wear it, why you don't wear it? It, it, it did. Read, read it again. Read it again. Go back. Go ahead. Elder, let's sit you down right here, Elder. You sure? I don't want you to fall. Okay. Read it one more time for him. What you got? Read what you got. This is the book of Philippians, chapter 4, verse 13. I can do all things through Christ which strengthen me. Now Christ said you can do all things through him. Yep. So can you put fringes on your clothes? Yep. I can put fringes on there my you clothes. go. So let's do it. Why not? Did Jesus do it? And, and, and that's not going to make me go to heaven. Give me John 14, 15. Yeah, you get taken out. Now, now look, let's read that. Let me show you that you're wrong. Read. John 14 and 15. If ye love me, do you love Jesus? Read. Keep my commandments. Jesus said keep his commandments. Yes, he did in the Numbers chapter 15. And he wore him himself, as we showed you. So now, if you love him, do what? Read. Keep my commandments. Read. Salakia. And I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter, that he may abide with you forever. How are you going to say that you're willing to serve and die for God and receive the Holy Ghost when you can't do a simple commandment like wear fringes? Sim you, we can't do a simple... But see, let me let me tell y'all something that y'all didn't hear that was in the book of Numbers chapter 15. The thing about it is he said, so that you do not go on your separate own mind. Notice how it ain't really about the fringes. It's about our people wanting to do what they want to do. That's why he told us to wear it. So we, we, we wear fringes because we don't wear it for a fashion statement. We don't wear it because we're Jews. We wear it because simply God told us to do it to not be disobedient. That's right. And, and elder. Really, really true, and that's good. Oh, crap up for the elder. Crap up. That's all we want. That's, that's all we want. If you wasn't aware, I, that's. But I knew you weren't aware. That's why I brought out. I brought out a zeal according to, uh, but not according to knowledge. You have a zeal of God, but you don't have the knowledge of God. I have but, Jesus. Not just a zeal. I, Jesus is in me. Okay, so you have Jesus. Yeah. It's in my heart. So, so let me go to First John real quick. Go to First John. So you said you got Jesus. Now let me ask you a question. How do you know that you belong to Jesus? But you got to do what Jesus did, right? 
But didn't Christ say, be perfect like my Father in heaven? That doesn't mean you hold me that. You give me that. You read that. Hold on, Elder. Listen to this. Read it. Come. No man. Look at him. No man. Come. I'm not saying we don't have. I'm not saying that we haven't. I'm not saying. Elder. Elder, listen to me. I'm going to walk with you. Listen. Elder, listen to me. Elder, listen to me. I will agree with you just so we can get to a point that I want to establish with you. I'm not saying that I haven't seen. We clearly just said. A lot of us, before finding this knowledge, were fornicators. A lot of us, were, I, I just admitted I, I, I had an alcohol problem. You see what I'm saying? The point is, and we don't know everything, but the point is when we read and study, that's the point of studying. When we read and we see something and we say, hey, aha, uh -huh, I didn't know we had to wear fringes. Oh, brothers, guess what? I guess we got to wear fringes. Aha, uh -huh, I didn't know the Bible said this. Oh, I guess we gotta change my life. I gotta do this. So it's not about being, it's not about us all being know it all. It's about once we find a flaw in our walk, we change it. So now that you didn't know that you're supposed to wear fringes, your mind should be like, you know what? I gotta be like Christ. Like Jesus wore fringes. There's a commandment to wear fringes. Guess what, brothers? How can y'all help me to put fringes on my clothes? Watch this. Read that. You know what? Yeah. Uh, no. I wanna. No. Um. No, uh, let me see. No. Not two and three. Let me see. Is it two and three? Let me see. Nah, you got, uh, those that say they know God and keep not his commands. Five and three? No, two and three. Come on, read that. The book of 1 John 2 and verse 3. And hereby we do know that we know him if we keep his commandments. Elder, where are God's commandments located? Ten commandments, one. It's in Exodus chapter 20. Now, okay, elder is stuck on the Ten Commandments. Let me ask him a question. No, no, no. You're supposed to keep the Ten Commandments, right? You are. Now, y'all heard that, right? You, right. So, but listen. Wait, elder, look, real quick. Listen, elder, elder. Listen, listen, listen. You keep the Ten Commandments? Okay. You, what's the Fourth Commandment? The Fourth Commandment is keep the Sabbath. Do you keep the Sabbath day holy? Did you get on that? Did you spend money on that bus? Did you spend money on that bus? So you spend money on the Sabbath. The Bible says we're supposed to keep the Sabbath, the commandments. So if you didn't, if you spent money today, you broke the you broke the Sabbath. You broke the Ten Commandments. So now that's another commandment that we gotta help you to get right. There's so much more, Elder. We have to repent. Repentance is turning from your sins. Keyword, you don't believe. But what does the Bible say? Elder, you said you're supposed to keep the Ten Commandments. And then I told you the Fourth Commandment. Oh, uh, Elder, you contradicting contradict yourself now. Now, I love the Elder. I'm being patient with you. Listen, the Bible says that we are not supposed to buy nor sell on the Sabbath day. Uh, I got it. Let's read. Uh, this is the book of um, Nehemiah chapter 10 and verse 31. And if the people of the land bring wear or any victuals on the Sabbath day to sell, that we would not buy it of them on the Sabbath day. We're not supposed to buy and spend money on the Sabbath day. But you said you did. I have. But once I but once I realized I wasn't supposed to do it, guess what, Elder? It's been over 14 years That's that I right. haven't put nothing on the Sabbath. Hey, Elder, okay. Elder, Elder, it's I'm been, right. Elder, it's been, I'm tell you something, Elder. No, I'm tell you something. No, I'm, no, I'm tell you something. It's been over 14 years that I ain't bought nothing on the Sabbath. Hey, my gas tank is full to the brim. I ain't buying no gas on the Sabbath. I already prepared my meals on the Sabbath and all of that. Before the Sabbath. So guess what, Elder? It's been 14 years. But before that 14 years, I did buy on the Sabbath. But once I found out I wasn't supposed to, guess what I did, Elder? I changed. That's right. So now guess what? You can change. That's right. Do all things in Christ. Are you ready to change? All things in Christ. I pray. I love you, Elder. I love you. right now. Revelation 22, 14. 
But it is. You're right. You don't disagree. You don't disagree with that. But all I'm saying is that, okay, you have certain things like alcoholism. Those are addictions, mental addictions that's hard to 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 change, and it takes time. Everything takes time. We understand those things. But let me tell you something. This is the least. Putting sewing fringes on your shirt is the least of anything that's hard to do. You do know that, right? This this, this is simple. This, all you gotta do is we can help you. We got women that can sew it for you. This is easy. This is guess what? This is the start of your repentance. That's right. This is the easy thing. Do you eat pork? Sometimes. You know the Bible tells you you're not supposed to eat pork. So now you gotta stop eating pork. And that's more than ten commandments. And that's the ten commandments. Yeah, more than ten. More than ten. More than ten. Yeah. But the point is, Elder, you got a zeal of God, but not according to knowledge. And the church wronged you. The church taught you wrong. The church taught me wrong when I was a kid in the church because they're not teaching the knowledge of God, which is what the commandments. What's the whole duty of men? And keep the commandments. To fear God and do what? Ecclesiastes chapter 12. So, so, so we keep the Ten Commandments. And, and, I hope and, and, uh, and uh, the one that says that we have to be in the out of the Yes. Uh, keep that one. Yeah. And a couple of other. Yeah, that saved us. Be careful. Did that what? That saved us from sin. And faith. No, Jesus saved us from sin. Okay. Now, That's that's, that's, that's who's going to take you to hell. Now, I don't care how many sins you commit. He said, wait, hold on, hold on. The Bible said, the Bible said, if you sin, Jesus saved us from sin. If you sin, you have to advocate with the Father. Yeah. Okay. Jesus Christ the right one. If you sin. So let me ask you a question, now, Elder. Yeah. So Jesus saved us from our sins, right? Right? Did he save us for our sins so that we can still sin? Okay, so I'm going to give you an example. If I find out that eating pork is a sin, that, and I'm supposed to die, technically according to the law, I'm supposed to die if I eat pork, but Jesus nailed, got nailed on the cross and gave his life because of my pork eating. Once I realize, wait, no, listen, no, once I realize, no, no, look, he walking no, away, the elder, no, come here. No, he knows, don't, yeah, don't please. Don't please. Go to the cross. Yes, he stopped people eating. Come don't, here, don't elder. Flee, don't don't flee, flee. He stopped us from don't sinning. Flee. He went to the cross that's to stop us from sin. sinning. That's a sin that we got to get rid of. He didn't go. He didn't die for that. He didn't go to the cross. But you said it was a sin. Is eating pork is a sin? If you listen. No, I get that. If I don't eat pork. this is when you know the spirit knows. Hold on, hold on, hold on. The spirit knows that it can't lie. The spirit can't lie to the spirit. The spirit knows. The spirit, the spirit is trying to... No, yeah, get that. Get that. What you have here? If I, if, if I go and have all my shirt here uh -huh. with this garment here, uh -huh. if I stop eating pork, uh -huh. okay, and I go out there and phone cake, that nope. I, you're right. To, yep. You, you're absolutely right. It means okay. nothing. Okay. Yep. Absolutely, I agree with you. Guess what, Elder? That's why we don't fornicate either. That's right. Elder, so guess what? Not only, but you know what you don't do? You still eat pork. So you still got to... I can't say I do it. I can't say I don't. Elder, let me ask you a question. Elder, let me ask you a question. Is fornication a sin? Yes, it's a sin. Is eating pork a sin? Yes. So guess what? You got to stop doing both. So... Well, actually, truthfully, I just came to the knowledge of eating pork. See? It's... A zeal of God, but not according to knowledge. This is what I'm trying to show you, Elder. What God has cleansed, called do uh, so Was that talking about food? Don't think Jesus, you don't think that wasn't in his That's the book of Acts, right? You don't think that was in his dying on the So God? let me ask you a question, Elder. Elder, have you ever read that chapter, or are you just quoting that verse that you heard the pastor say? Look, Elder, I'm going to ask you a question. Have you ever read that chapter? Okay, so if I were to show you that that chapter was not actually about food, but it was a symbolic message about men. Would you believe me if I show it to you? Bring it out. Let's bring it out. Let's bring it out for him. Elder, let's get, get some understanding of this. And this, this will be the last thing. Uh, this is the book of Acts, chapter 10, and verse. You want me to get the account or get the whole account? We're going to run through it real quick. Let's go. Salakia. 10 and verse 9. On the morrow, as they went on their journey and drew nigh unto the city, Peter went up upon the housetop to pray about the sixth hour, and he became very hungry. And when he would have eaten, but while they made ready, he fell into a trance. Uh -huh. 
and saw heaven open in a certain vessel descending unto him. Oh, Lord Jesus Christ. He got that vessel on and it descended all from heaven. And it had all manner of beast on it. That's what the pastor going to say. Watch this. Read As it had been a great sheet knit at the four corners and let down to the earth, wherein were all manner of four-footed beasts of the earth. It was all a manner of four-footed beast. God blessed it. I can eat it. Was that really what it was talking about, Elder? Let's see what it's talking about, really. And wild beasts and creeping things and fowls of the air. Uh -huh. And there came a voice to him, Rise, Peter, kill and eat. Uh-huh. Read. And, but Peter said, Not so, Lord, for I have not eaten anything that is common or unclean. Now, this is a cold verse because Peter said, I've never eaten nothing unclean, even when Jesus was with me. So that means, hey, watch this. That means that Peter wasn't eating nothing unclean. Jesus wasn't eating nothing unclean. So why now that Jesus is gone, why would they now show Peter you can eat whatever you want? And that was never a part of Jesus' ministry. Let's get a point, read. And the voice spake unto him again the second time, what God have cleansed, that called out not coming. This was done thrice. So now when Peter woke up, did Peter go get him a baby back rib? <laughs> when Peter woke up, did Peter say, aha, we can eat pork now? No. Nope. What did it say Peter did when he woke up? Read. God, this was done thrice, and the vessel was, was received up again into heaven. Now, while Peter doubted in himself what this vision which he had seen should mean. Because he knew it wasn't telling him to eat no pork. He knew. He said, what does this vision mean? There's a meaning behind the vision. Peter doubted. He thought about it. Hmm. He didn't just wake up. Oh, give me some. I've been meaning to eat some pig. <laughs> he thought about it. What does this mean? Now, let's get to the point of when, what it meant. Let's go to Cornelius. Let's see. God has said, let call no man common or unclean. Let's get that. Let's get straight to the point on that one. I think it's chapter, is it verse 28? Read. Verse, so what does this dream mean? Read. Verse 28. And he said unto them, ye know that how it is an unlawful thing for a man that is a Jew to, to keep company or to come unto one of another nation. So what happened was Cornelius was coming to meet Peter, and now Peter understands what this vision means. What does it mean, read? But God hath showed me that I should not call any man common or unclean. Was that vision any, yeah, any what? Any man common or unclean. So what was that talking about? Was it talking about literal meat, or was it an analogy when you read the whole story in context of Cornelius being a Gentile uh, uh, by dispersion, because he really was an Israelite, and Peter telling him what well, God has made clean, call me no man common or unclean. So that wasn't dealing with so elder, real quick. That wasn't dealing with food. That was dealing with men. It was an analogy. So the church been teaching you that wrong, huh? Then how did you know that? Did you read it wrong? The zeal not according to knowledge. Did you read it wrong? Elder, you didn't read it wrong? What you gonna tell me? What I done? Jesus said, hold on, listen, hold on. I don't even know if I'm going to heaven. I'm going to heaven because Jesus said, if you live right and according to my word, you shall be Elder, elder, you. You said, Jesus said, if you live right, wait, hold on, Elder. Jesus said, wait, hold on, I got to ask you this. I'm going to let you finish. Jesus said, if you live right and live by his word, is Numbers chapter 15 in God's word? Bring it out. Oh, look at that. He, you, you heard what he said? He said, that's another book they added in there. You know why I said that? You know why I said that? You know why I said that? Now, that's a, now Numbers 15 is another book they added in there. Why you say that? Well, that's a stupid question. Okay, so, but Elder, Elder, come here, man. You know I love you, Elder. It don't matter how old or young you are. Okay, so Elder, wait, hold on. If you say you follow the book of Numbers, where your fringes? See, stubbornness can happen in any age, with any sex. Now, I wish the sister was there, because did we not get on the brother? Yeah, yeah. Yo, man, get on the woman. Shut up, you just headstrong. Just gotta keep it above. That's why she's single. Yeah, that, and that's why she's single. Let's read these two and we gotta get out of here. Read. The book of Hebrews, chapter 10, verse 26. For if we sin willfully after that we have received the knowledge of the truth. Elder, you know now eating pork is a sin now, and you know you gotta wear them fringes, read. 
There remaineth no more sacrifice for sins. He said he going to heaven, but if he don't keep the word of God, he's not. Get the wicked flee when no man pursue it. It's the book of 2 Peter, chapter 2, verse 20. For if after they have escaped the pollutions of the world through the knowledge of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, they are again entangled therein and overcome, the latter end is worse than them that the beginning. For it had been better for them not to have known the way of righteousness than after they have known it to turn from the holy commandment delivered unto them. See, he said he didn't know, and that was my whole point. He has a zeal of God, but not according to knowledge. You need both. We teach the faith in Christ and the commandments. You understand? We teach the faith in Christ and the commandments. And we ask the Most High to bless us and forgive us for the things that we know not. Have mercy upon us. We're not saying that that brother's salvation is done. I don't know. The brother, the brother could wake up tomorrow. I don't know. But we have to still tell our people. We have to. We. Proverbs 28 and 1. The wicked flee when no man pursue it. And the elder had to get up out of there. And it don't matter how old you are. You could be wicked at 81. You could be wicked at 12. It, you know, it's the same The same outcome happened because we had two wicked souls today. And they both flee. The sister, she was in disguise until the, the Iran brought it out. They flee off a simple command. They flee off a simple command. keeping the with the that's dress code, basically. That's crazy. Damn. The that's man true. putting on fringes. And the the woman putting on a, a woman's garment. Damn. How simple can that get? Damn. We didn't ask them, you better stop your your your, your crack addiction. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we said, put some fringes on. Start. And, and both flee. Read. Excellent point. It was, it was both about attire. But that's why God said, he told us to do that because it's just him seeing if we're going to be obedient or not. Because that's why I said, wear the fringes, not for a fashion statement, but just to be obedient. Just because I told you to do it, do it. And if you can't do that simple thing, Lord, no, you ain't going to stop doing other things. But see, people's relationship with Jesus is conditional, like Iran brought out. I'm only relationship with Jesus when I dictate the relationship. But when Jesus asks a request of me, I say I don't got to do that. When Jesus asks is a request, well, how do you know Jesus asks you a request? In his word. Is no. the book of Numbers his word? Cut. And then these bootleg Christians, I pray to God, this is a warning. If any of you evangelist Christians meet us on this corner, I want you to find me. I've been Woo. waiting to run into y'all. Y'all, please run into me. Y'all be running into brothers, you know what I mean, all the time. But for some, well, we be in the hood, though, for real. Yeah. <laughs> we be in the hood, for real. They, they not going to find us unless they come to the hood. They got to come to the hood. But I'm just, uh, yeah, hit the link. You know what I mean? But I'm going to tell y'all, 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 y'all so-called Christian evangelists, you the worst of the worst. Because you're, you're, you're leading us. And you know what Elder about to do? He about to get on that bus and think he give people Jesus, man. <laughs> you know what he think giving Jesus is? Say you love Jesus and he died for your sins. I love Jesus and he died for my sins. You saved. That's it. You saved. Nope. You it. it don't matter. You can go do a lick and kill somebody. You say, just pray on me. I know we gotta go. 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 One more. I finish it, please. Proverbs twenty-eight and one: The wicked flee when no man pursue it, but the righteous are as bold as a lion. See, that's why Desha, what he did today, was honorable with integrity, and he's bold to do it. He didn't look at Iram, cause look. He could have looked at Iran like, well, hold on, bro. I didn't say I was going to do that. No on. I wrong, I, look, I wrong didn't ha I wrong didn't whisper to him, hey, if I say, if I say you're going to take off your chain, will you do it? I wrong was just in the spirit. If, this, if we tell this brother right now, he's going to take it off. And you know what he did? Took it off. Oh, he'll take it off. Because that's the spirit of boldness. Real diamonds. And the love for our people to show her. And she a damn demon, I guarantee. And she she, she, she knew what she was doing. You know what I mean? Wait. Revelation 14 and verse 12. Bring it out. Here is the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of God and the faith in Christ. We keep the commandments of God and the faith in Christ. One more and then we got to read. It's the book of Amos chapter 8 verse 11. Behold, the day comes, saith the Lord God, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. And they shall wander from sea to sea, and from the north, even to the east. 
They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord and shall not find it. See that? Because they don't want to hear it. Because the scriptures say your prophets will not leave the corner. But they don't want to hear the word. And when it's finally too late, guess what they're going to be trying to do? Find the word. It's going to be too late. You understand? Oh, praise to the Most High God.